underway. The two coaches laying back like kings, and now he's about to enter this game one. Winner of that, the, co uh, the, the coach's player makes it gets $50. <laughs> the coaches get it too? Yes, they Excuse do. Excuse the why do you think me. Why do you think Tyler's coaching Mongo? <laughs> I, I, yo, I'm gonna roast him later, bro. Bro, I'm ready. He's supposed am. to help me. It he hates nah. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> he hates Steve, and I do. I after coaching this Steve player. That's ridiculous. Oh, geez, but getting right into it, I knew uh, a lot of Pongo Steve nonsense is. Oh, I like that setup. He tried to go for the, the drag down. A lot of people mm. just. I don't. I've never really seen him do that. But he tried to do a drag down, either try to make him buffer or just do a down smash or something like that. Which I'm seeing, I'm starting to see a lot more Pikachu's do that. So if you take him to town and city, you better be cautious on the combos that Pikachu can do to you and everything. Oh, yeah. So I'm, you know, I'm pretty interested to see what will happen from there. But it looks like Pongo has a very good understanding of what Pikachu wants to look for. Look, Tech already, like, Pikachu, he's really giving Pikachu a hard time just building specific towers around the stage for XG Extreme can feel a little uncomfortable on his combo game and everything. Yeah. Even I with mean, the blocks on top of the thing, oh, too. Oh, wow, what a headbutt. Sussy DI so on you that. So you want to build? Nah. Don't do that in my face. Nah, man. We can't do that over here. Not on this side. We're, no construction permit over here, man. Uh oh. All right. One thing that I feel like uh, B Extreme is doing, like, Pongo's getting really comfortable just sitting back and mining, and G Extreme is just casting him off guard doing that. I want to see G Extreme push his lead right now because he's, he's, yeah, he's really approaching ah. way too much right now. Steve will always and always want I mean, you to approach him. You're right. He was approaching him a lot, but, but he was winning. Yeah. It's not even like he was approaching him and getting clapped for it. He I was, mean, that's, that Spike was kind of, he kind of clapped with that Spike. I mean, that was, that, that was a sleep at the wheel type of yeah. Spike, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's like you watching that's it come over. Right here. Just, it's like you watching it come over and like every, your, your brain just flatlining. You're just like, I'm brain, he gets the sour spot, gets the sweet spot. Well, never mind. Yo, y'all Steves are really scaring me right now because I'm seeing not just only Pango, the other the other Steves too. They, they're going for more footstool anvil stuff now. Yes. They learned about that and then they said, oh, we can break shields now? Easier? Right. Oh, let me do that. No, the, the break and shoot one is even more dangerous because it's not just the anvil alone. You put the block and then the anvil on top. And since the shield shield mechanics is retarded in this game, it, <laughs> you can't really do anything about it. No, you cannot. You like, you have to really be away from that block in order for you not to get a break. Indeed. Oh. But what I'm noticing right here is that Pango is building the tower in every single aspect, whether it's to annoy... G Extreme's neutral to force him to approach on the top or from the bottom, but he got Hart covering that too. So he's keeping, I like that he's keeping G Extreme on his toes. Yeah, what an excellent edge guard right there. But let's see what's going to happen. Oh, already another diamond piece coming yeah, in clutch. Man. One thing I, one thing I just want to say uh, and point out for Apongo again, always running through his materials. Yeah. Not very conservative about that. And when he runs through it, he has to think like, like, damn, I need to get this back. You know, doesn't get the option. Now he gets now he gets a little bit of time to do that, but then he's like, you know, back in. Pikachu's uh, throwing Tito's at you. He has to, has to make some room. He has to start yeah. playing neutral. And when the Steve, the thing with Steve is that, personally, I don't really care what about the how hell? the fight is. Yeah, that's Diamond for you. That's Diamond plus Pikachu being light as hell. It's not just that. It's the fact that he just did it. Yeah. These Steve the, players are classic. like, bro, these Steve players are, are the most YOLO players in this <laughs> game, bro. He took 37 from Raw Cart alone, bro. Yes. But out of all the funniest things, I still don't personally think he top tier. No, I don't I give him high tier. I give him that. High tier for sure. Top tier, no. It's just that he just has a lot of, like, BS. Yeah. He has a lot of BS. He has a lot of answers for very odd matchups that you won't really expect to happen. Like, Pikachu and Steve, You, I feel like a lot of people would think Pikachu would just demolish him and everything yeah. but the way how pango is playing right now he's showing that he's very aware of what pikachu in general likes to look for he's jumping around the the t jolts he's putting the block before he can cover his landing so even if i feel like if g extreme took him to fd for example good, good dash attack right very there good dash attack. but if i feel like if he took him to fd then pango wouldn't really care about it he could just eh, put a block Yep. And he even utilized the block in the middle of Pikachu's backer strings. So instead of like him fully worrying about smash DIing and DIing it correctly, he could put a block before he even attempts to get combo. Basically preemptively saying that, alright, I'm gonna get caught by doing some stupid shit. And then the block, he can he's ready to tech it. He teched like three out of four times that he did that, and then the fourth one, 
he buffered it by accident. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, that's um. You never notice like when you're about to attack, but then when you land on the on the ground, you start like rolling or like spot dodging or something like that. Yeah. That's the, that's basically the game buffer system saying that you was attempting to attack, but you timed it too late, and you timed it right when you landed. And everything like that, which I never understood why the game does that, but it's that's how it is now. Sakurai's vision, Smash. Oh, I said Smash Bros. Small battlefield. I respect the pick. It's better than P2 if you're a Steve main. This is a Quip was telling me that he loves the stage as Steve. Yeah. This is definitely Steve Dave because like a lot of his setups just work well with the platform, especially this uh the shield break setup with the mic with uh, the TNT. Yeah. And then F Smash. I feel like it's also more than just the, the less trap setups because you have a good point bringing that up. Like I feel like the less trap with TNT, if he if Pongo has a chance to pull it out, is a lot more sufficient rather than P2. But what makes this stage interesting, plus the besides it being smaller than P2, it's also Steve's has easier time getting material. Oh yeah. You have to pay attention to like which stage Steve is gonna take you to, because depending on what the stage is literally made out of is the percentages of his material being increased yeah. or decreased. And you see it right here, he's getting a lot of wood, a lot more, a lot, a lot of wood, not a lot of stone and iron though, so I, you're not going to see a lot more anvils. That was really good. Sooner or later, after that wooden stage, he's going to start getting a lot more stone and iron consistently. Yes, indeed. Because uh, P2 is made out of like grass and dirt, so you're going to see a lot of dirt coming from Steve. But this level, oh, kind that's of a little mix though. Nice, nice drag down, down smash coming from G Extreme right there. All right, thank you. He's he's utilizing the cart. That's not free. Oh, oh my God, but that's fight. No, he's living. Pikachu he's living. being a god. It is recovering. Pikachu. This is rap provision. Oh, the rap be flying. Uh oh, and there we go into the upper and back. You know, solid damage. Don't want to do anything too fancy. All right, I like. I see. So now I'm realizing G Extreme noticed that in the, in game one he was just running into a lot of things. Now he's actually playing the whiff punish game to Steve as you should do. Just calling out a lot of Steve's defensive habits, and yet even even smarter, attacking the table. Indeed, break that. Because because fun fact, if you break the the table, Steve basically either loses. I think he either loses all of his material, I don't or think he, he just starts over. No, no, he's, he's, I don't think he loses all of it. He or just, like half of it or something. Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah, that, that's Honestly, I have to make note of that. Does he lose half? Jesus. If you also, oh, it, and also because he had a little bit of iron and steel too, which is why the throw is even stronger. Oh, okay, yeah, that's true. Like, because you're using anvil. Like, if you're using too many throws, then you can't anvil in disadvantage. Yeah, versa. you can't anvil. You can't. You can't mine card either. Yeah. Dude, every single one of his, every move in his kit, like uses materials. Well, mine card's a different one, but I forgot exactly. Mine card's iron. One. Yeah. Same thing with the anvil. Anvil's not steel; it's just iron. Well, I don't think there's diff a difference. I think this is only just iron. <laughs> Something just metallic. Yeah. <laughs> Something metallic. It's just it's gonna help you out. That's that it. Is it. That's the that's the hardest. The hardest oh, one. Nah. I think I, maybe Anvil Stone. Actually. Pango try to go for some shit. Hold on. He put the block exactly I where he's supposed to go. And he wanted to do some F smash. He wanted to do like F smash. Knock Yo, him into once that. I saw the jabs come through, I was like, yeah, that was what I was mentioning. Before. Oh, that's smart. You put the blocks. Yeah, Steve's will put the blocks there because they're gonna they're gonna know they're gonna get caught eventually. So him putting the block exactly where it needed to be. Saved him from being in a long combo string, giving him a chance to tech. And you can mix it up by not teching it, and then you go away from him and everything like that. Yeah. That's what I like about Steve, is that his disadvantage is, is pretty useful. Oh my god, what a strong lava attack from him. Oh Very good. my, oh my god, god, caught down him here. in the middle of his back here. Okay, squishing the rats, we like that over here. Exterminating, exterminating type of thing. 21% for that, for that minecart. Too much, if you ask me. Oh, nice nice spot dodge, dodge call out. Uh, here he goes again. Tranko. Uh, oh. not, I said Tranko. G Extreme just My doing the easy stuff, and he good. knows. Are you dead? No, nah. nah, you're not dead. Not down smash is not as strong enough, and I feel like the next inversion, yep. he will oh. do and he drops it. Probably a missed input for G Extreme. It was and Pongo almost. He has to hurry up and end this game right here because if Pongo has any more momentum right now, I feel like he's going to rob him. Already no, attempting for mind. another footstool and Look at him. He's throwing out Ooh, all this kill moves Weba right now. But the up mm, smash mm, coming mm, in. Mm, 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 My man was man. saving it. Good composure from G Extreme, realizing he messed up on that first down, that drag down setup. 
the four smashers, and I got one more chance. Yeah, I'm and he, was, he wasn't get, he wasn't scared at all. He said, "Okay, you know, just play new, just play." Even Ling Ling Ching and said, "Like, come on, bro, you, you can't yeah. be messing those up." Man. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler looking stressed, like, damn, I got Steve. I'm trying to get some type of pay. Look, he thinking right now, like, yo, look, if you do this and if build stuff right here, <laughs> you might get a chance. <laughs> All right, We're running it back. Build an L. Get inside just of his own head. Yo, man. Nah, just <laughs> build a. <laughs> I can't even, damn. I can't even say it on stream. Just build that 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 thing. I'm, I'm gonna tell you later. Damn. Oh my goodness. Bitch, just build the D. Yeah. Yeah. Build the D, man. That build the D. It's a letter. <laughs> and we're running back here on this stage. This time with the real music playing. I respect it. Ooh, ooh. Hold on, hold on. There, there, there. 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 <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> who, was, who was he playing right now? Yo, know, we're making a combo video, my dude. What's going on? Why are you doing something I haven't seen before? There, there, there. I don't think the third Nair was intentional, but it looked kind of funny. It was cool. I'll say that one. <laughs> Ah, uh, a bit too early. Didn't wait for the tech, but that's fine. Okay, good knowledge good right there. Uh, good patience. That's what I want to point out. What G Extreme did right there is that he only attacked the bottom block, so he can have access to walking right through it. Indeed. Now into the down smash, getting his damage off. Don't need to worry about killing. I actually think if he might have did it in the up smash, I might have killed. Yeah. Jeez, yeah, I'm wondering what G Extreme changed, bro. Because if, when these two played in winners, Pongo kind of Pongo Pongo kind of dropped him. I'm not gonna lie. It was it was Pong, it was Pongo game. Yeah. And now G Extreme is just like, listen, man. He looking like he running away. You don't got this. these rats in Minecraft, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm not those tiny gray rats you see. Yeah. Oh, he didn't F smash him. He spot dodged exactly at the right time. Oh. And he, did, he went for dash attack too though. Oh. Okay. The anvil was <laughs> gonna help anyway. <laughs> oh, nice read right there. That is almost unreactable right there. He preemptively knew. He knew. Uh oh, oh my God! Oh, I thought, whoa! I thought oh. Force Man was coming. I had to too, man, or just like a forward air or something. He just went for another jab. I'm gonna check him. The way these teams check with the jab is funny, and that attack is also a very funny move. Yeah. I feel like the thing that changed in this game is that G Extreme's pace changed. It looks a lot more faster, and he's playing more confidently now. Definitely. Only because so. I just really only because like he's a box to reset this if he wins this game right here. Unless Pango got something to say about it. I don't right. know, man. The way this game is going, it's kind of looking like the exact same pace as the other two games. I feel like GH Train might take if he If he resets this, he's, he's taking gonna the tournament. Take it. He's yeah. taking the tournament. <laughs> okay. No up tilt. Just go for the grab. And right now, look at that Pongo. He does not have any materials. Oh, and nice he can't try to up the out of this advantage there, but you know, G Extreme not letting it happen. He's chasing right there. Oh, oh my god! What? Wait, if you don't roll? Ah, uh, nice DI. Uh, Bro, DI the up the air perfectly. F smashes that these Steve mains love to do. <laughs> Yo, the spaghetti's is coming out right uh, now. Hit, this, Pongo, this Pongo with that F smash, bro. <laughs> it, it, it is. It's so huge. It's just the face. But Pongo with that F smash, and he's just like, ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I like, I like that. He, I like that. I like that conversion he did right there. Steve, Steve kind of floaty, and he noticed he kept DIing up, and was good enough to just up smash it right there. So you want to go up? Nah, I got you. Well, yeah, fine, that nice. diamond yeah. or smash. Why can Steve get away with that, man? That's crazy. Oh, I don't understand. Oh, Jesus my God. Christ. You want an anvil? Go ahead. Hell yeah, ahead, <laughs> man. We got a thunderbolt with your, man, with your name on it. Cool. Here right. we go. Just get, we're punishing him with quick, with quick attack. Trying to do what Steve has. No. And I mean, no materials. He cannot down air. He cannot ball. iron. He is forced to just, see. He can't really play the same neutral he wants right yeah. now. He can't. Yeah, he couldn't even car. He was forced to just up here right immediately. Mm -hmm. All right, got a little something. Might put a block or two. Ah, Teddy just forcing him to go. There he goes. Ooh. The minecart's coming out. Oh my God! What was that? <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he got no real reason to go. Uh, right oh, now. yo, I love how the, the Street Fighter music is getting faster. Hold up. Oh, yeah, man. Making it intense. And there we go. Dash attack. Forward air. It has him off stage. And one so more chance to, to end it. And the game back game there the is reset. going to do it. We got the reset on here, baby. Three. Oh, geez. Damn. Ling Ling putting in the work. Oh, this Ling Ling coach is broken.
People was like, Quaid was broken. And Ling Ling kind of up here right ah, now. Quaid, Quaid, Quaid is broken. I just don't think he gave Mango. I don't think he gave um, Noku the proper juice. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he said he didn't give him the right sauce. Mm -mm. Yo, I'm looking at some of these people's brackets. I'm wondering, like, how many of them had to fight Westchester, right? Yeah. yeah. So Tisa's the, the only Westchester that Tisa to fought in winners was uh, Jay Grunt. Tisa? T Sizzle, too many. Oh, yo, I never heard of this T Sizzle until today. Hey, I follow him on Twitter. We follow each other on Twitter, so I'd be seeing some of his clips. He's nice. I, mean, I was like, I thought he know. was like some pool tooling or something like that. And I'm seeing him like making a little bit of a run today. I was like, wait a little bit of a run. I'm like, wait My a minute. My man's got minute. fourth. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. T Sizzle, he's sizzling on the bracket. You know I'm saying, man, he was cooking. <laughs> Did he have coaches? Nope. That's wild. My man got big brains. G Extreme had one Westchester. He had two. He had RIP and Goldsmith. And, then, uh, and Summit Sun. I forgot about Summit Sun. I never heard of R. I played R. That's how I played the other day. I never heard of RIP. RIP, he's like, he used to compete a lot. Like He's like Smash more old Westchester. Okay. Pretty much a nostalgic old, old school Yeah, person. I think he's starting to get back into the scene. That's probably what it is. All right. Now we have. Well, I'm wondering what. Uh, Tyler held uh, Pongo to the mail, uh, make him you know, come into the game with a little bit more firepower. Because right now, this is not looking like the the winners match at all, bro. Like in in winners winners semis, winners semis, Pongo took that three one over G Extreme. Yeah, I'm like a little more firepower. G Extreme is still moving right G here. G Extreme has not slowed down at all. He is a whole furnace that has been fueled. We're taking it back to PS2. That's a lot of dirt. That that's a, yeah, you see how much dirt he has Yeah, right man, here? I see it I now. I told you, it makes a big difference with I those I think also, stages. like, on, if he's on, like, the edge of the stage, he's going to get more iron, so he probably wants to stay there and mine more. Yeah. But GX, not but giving him the chance. ready for it. He's like, nah, bro, like, I'm going to just forward smash right here. You're forcing me to just jump or just chill on the ledge at some point. Yeah, little this dog kind of spam sign real quick. Good call out on the mine cart. How is he going to come back? He's crashed 40%. Oh, the drag Goodbye. down. Oh, my God. Steve somehow makes it back. Done. I thought he would have done like a down air or something to just get him out of there. Oh, good, good roll away knowing that he wanted to just jump on his head. Oh, dear. Okay. Ooh, good. Okay, get that that damage. That's 68%. Jesus Christ. Yeah, oh look at that. Dude. No reason for him to like go in right there. I can shoot, he can shoot these T-Jolts. He has the lead. You sure he will see get, see get material. But the way Pongo would like to set up his uh, his defense, he's running through so much material. Every time, man. Oh, my God. Very good punish. G-Extreme. Keep it simple. Down throw forward air. Okay. Oh, oh no. <laughs> and the double taunts on him. Taunts on him. You kind of hit good the looking, bro. Stuff. He said good looking for the setup. Yo, he was like, oh, you gave me a set. Oh, I didn't know we were playing Marvel, bro. I <laughs> you. <laughs> combo. Pongo <laughs> filled himself a little bit too. He got himself. <laughs> combo. Yeah, <breaker>. combo. <laughs> Marvelous. Yo. Hyper stop. combo KO. <laughs> All the blocks is set up for every FGC announcement. Oh my god, he didn't have any. He didn't yeah, have he material. ran out of material. But he still has diamond swords. So we're not going to see a taunting and potting, are we? Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah. Oh, now he got another diamond in general now. Oh, Weppa, he was not oh, patient. Right we're not going to see Tom to get bodied, right? And another diamond coming in from Pango. All right, push him off the stage yet again. A uh, bit too antsy with that force match, and it's going to take 50 for that. Yeah, man. What I, see, now I'm noticing with the towers that he's building now. Like in the other games that he had at the Grand Finals 1, uh -huh. he just made three blocks on top. Yep. Which when G Extreme did T Joe consistently, it will go over the whole thing and, and settle and so yeah, on. Yeah, but now he's well, making he's doing, it with a. Yeah, he's making like a, like a Tetris L. And that third block that's angled at the corner is stopping the T Joe right there. I don't know if it's because the dirt is kind of trash or steel or <laughs> iron is just doing the better job right here. I think iron is definitely doing a better job. Yeah. Oh, my God. Now he doesn't, have any, he doesn't have any materials to do any job. And he, yeah, he, <laughs> I wonder if, like, if as a Steve main, Pango should be able to know that you could just move your chest to you. But <laughs> yeah. he's, he's not utilizing that at all. No, he's not. I, I realize Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Barely died. Barely died out of there. All right. Nice anti-forwarder right there. Ooh. 
Keep it, keeping him on his toes. Didn't up smash that at all. Dx needs to shoot some just Wait, now Pongo oh, they reaching. Last Pongo oh, my reaching, God, no! bro. No up smash? Oh, speaking of an up smash, there it was from it G Extreme instead. My G Extreme almost lost that game. He almost got taunt yeah. to reverse three stop, bro. G Extreme, like you know what? Let me let me not do the double taunt. That was almost that was a crossfire right there. Yeah, that was his, that was almost his life. <laughs> he almost lost that game one. <laughs> even even Ling Ling smirking like he like yo bro bro don't don't don't, don't, don't do that. Bro. <laughs> Both cheesing out. Damn, Mango looking angry right now. Hold on. He oh, yeah, that is, that is Yo, focused. I love how one side looks fun and the other side is like, just like serious. Dun, dun, dun. Like, yo, nah. It's just, like, you know that, uh, out that here. Breaking Bad meme? <laughs> it's just the dudes who smile. It's like, hey. It's like, hey. Um, it's like, it's like winning the Grand Final set. Yeah. Losing yeah. the Grand Final set. <laughs> you got literally heaven and hell differences right here. <laughs> how it feels like to have fun in Smash. And then the other side is like, I hate this. I'm trying to grind. <laughs> He's playing the character I'm that makes people hate it too. <laughs> like, you, this is what happens when you when you try to make Steve hard. Like oh you're not even having fun right now. <laughs> He's playing Steve. <laughs> when he playing Smash. He's, he's, he's playing Steve while trying to play Smash at the same time. You're supposed to play when you're playing Steve. You're supposed to be playing Minecraft. Yo, oh no! Oh no, no way! Oh my God, I thought he, yo, he almost killed him. All right, okay. nice buffer roll right there. He actually would have died if he didn't die that at all. Oh. Okay, beautiful parry. And it's like, you know, G Extreme is just doing really well in this match. This is like, you know, he play, he plays Steve, he has a great coach, and he's frustrating the hell out of Pongo which, right now. Yeah, which is crazy. This is literally the biggest counter pick you can possibly do to Pongo. Indeed. Mind you, like I told you again, Pongo won this set before. Right. He won this Like pretty... they played before the grand finals, you mean? Oh, yeah, no, oh, they wow. played at winner semis at the beginning of early top eight. This is G Extreme's run back. Yeah, oh my god. G Extreme about blood, to get double bro. satisfaction out of this right here. Down smash. Down smash. Wonderful coverage. It. And G Extreme taking the first stock again before he hits 100. Ooh, ooh. Calls, calls out the aggression right there. Not even going for a grab. Off tilt. All right. Um, Accidental jab. We're going to take it anyway. 30 is 30 is okay. Oh, damn, I'm just watching how much material he used to put in a block. It's like it's but like the more you watch, the more you realize like yo, Steve isn't really that oppressive. Yeah. Steve is not he's not really like the only time he's aggressive is like doing a little Twitter. I'm not talking like yeah, it's like you see the Twitter clips, you're like this character's BS. But like <laughs> when and uh, the character still is kinda of BS, but like I'm watching it now. I'm watching the way G Cream is picking his character apart. Yeah. Granted it is Pikachu and Pikachu is mad privileged, but like it's still G Extreme just doing doing work. Oh my god, that almost broke you to shoot. He's not going to. That wasn't even the footstool either. No, it's not. One thing G Extreme is doing, he's, he is punishing Pongo for these minecarts. These minecarts, he's not letting him get like, so much mile watch for this, this at all. Look right. at it. What, what you trying to swing at, man? I am a rat. Good TJ snipe right there. there oh! Go. Uh oh. All right. Oh, good quick attack and no jump. And the down smash again, sending him off stage. Oh. That's going to be another on the same side, yeah. too. Perfect, perfect direction that he did, too, because it looked like he did Nair at one way, and he had to turn around and down smash immediately. Because the thing with Pikachu is down smash, the direction you go is based on what Pikachu was looking at. Yeah. So if Pikachu is looking at the left, you're going to go to the left after the entire down smash. It's not oh. random at all. Oh, Jesus Christ, he wanted it all. He wanted it all. He re yeah, he is a yo, he is bodying this man right, right. now. He is Hold catching up. Pongo pressing all these buttons at the worst. Oh scenario. my god, and knows exactly what he was gonna do mm -hmm. after that that low lag on. You know he's not going to grab. He's going to ah! swing for the yes. <laughs> yo, that would have been crazy. I, yo, he looked like he oh waited and the block god. broke. If he would have went for spike, it would have been curtains right there. Eighty percent from Pongo. He has to get a stock at the very least to gain some type of momentum. Falls out can, the dash man. away. G Extreme is not making this easy for him, bro. He needs one. Just one. Just put something it, on the board. I don't think G Extreme <laughs> cares, bro. Oh! He does not care in the slightest. My man said, hold on, you're gonna up smash right there. He wants this 6 0 in grand. Man, bro, that for download this from Ling Ling. Yo, Coach Ling Ling? Hashtag? Coach Ling Ling is broken. <laughs> Coach, Coach Ling, Ling Ling, bro. That's wild. That's all I can say. Coach Ling Ling broken. And right, we, right now we're seeing G Extreme about a six all this man about right here. About a six on grand. This means I get to go home and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I get to go home. Screw this. Oh, bro, I got work tomorrow at 7. I'm, I need G Extreme to yo, clean up right now. Yo, they look at hella happy right now. Yeah, he, he's <laughs> always, uh, I, I'm not going to hold you. A G Extreme always smiling. He always got like a, a carefree look in his face. Always, man. 
And these two are Tyler trying to, to, <laughs> try to lighten up the mood, right? Trying to look at me. I see a little smirk coming off of Tyler. He's just like focusing. Pongo smiling. He's like, oh, shit. Nah, this, 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 man. This a fourth rough. smile coming through. He's like, I'm about to end this man's life right here. Ender man. <laughs> So maybe I, I, maybe, maybe I didn't end his life enough. Three. And running it back to P2. Um, unless why? G Extreme was like, unless he banned Small Battlefield, which which would be understandable. I would material. hope so. That stage is a, a super Steve But stage. if he didn't ban it, then I guess P2 is just Steve's next best choice. Yeah, man. Actually, maybe like Town may, might have been a good stage. Nah, you don't want to take Pikachu to town. But it's Steve. Nowadays, you don't want to do that. I, I, well aware. You at get, least you get at camped least in, out. In this set, I get what you mean. Like, Steve can pretty, he can do good on Smashville, too. I mean, uh, yeah, in Town of City. Steve can do good on that stage. But at the same time, the way how this set is looking like right now, Pango does not want to risk the chance of ant getting anti-air by Nair into a drag down, down smash and yeah, stuff like that. Man. Or forest matches, you're just dying to the side early. One of the things about it is just like, I just, it, I just change of pace, which is super needed, man. Because you see PS2, these dual platform stages are not working out for him. Right. He needs to switch it up, man. Maybe Battlefield or Power Bastion or just something. He needs I to feel, switch Yeah, it I up. feel like Hollow Bastion would be a great change up, a change of pace to something. Or potentially FD if it was open, because you can just build your own platforms and everything. Like, I like the, I like some of this old hood That's weight, huge. and he charged it too. Go. Pongo finally getting his first lead of the set. Uh, can't mash on Pikachu like that, Bob. Uh -uh. Not what up to. Punishing. Failing for whiff punish. And goodbye. Ooh, no! Barely gets out of the nair. But a double dash attack. <laughs> He said, we playing double dash. Screw this. Double dash, man. I got to pick up after my own stuff. I'm my own teammate. Ooh. All right, good block right there. Delaying the landing a bit longer, but attacks the wrong way. Oh, but nice DI on the Nair. He's getting better at DIing the Nairs consistently now. Might be a game changer if he can take this stock from G Extreme. Yeah, if he takes the stock right here, you know the Tyler must have said something nice to him. He's probably like, yo, you got to smash DI like this. <laughs> That's that, that's actually a crucial difference in that. No, it definitely is. If you know how to smash the eye, Pikachu's nair loops and everything, you're you're really forcing Pikachu so to I play, think. like to actually play the game. It for <laughs> <laughs> like, you're not seeing brain dead loops anymore. Nah, man. He's like, welcome back to Smash. You're done playing Marvel <laughs> Three, bro. You want to play a little, a little nooch? <laughs> Jesus Christ! And I was like, Tango doing great. Forcing Tango to come to. Franco, to come at him and commit you know to what, an option. You know what I feel like that uh, that G Extreme could slightly do. What? Now that he got Diamond already, he can just take his time camping. Cause like, well, I already have Diamond, so now, oh, okay, good try. Not enough, not enough percent. Oh, is that weekend? Our spot is basically gonna take it, but the, the fair will do is it. Super Telegram Edge Guard, not hard for G Extreme to do. One more stock is all he needs to take this game. They take this tournament, screw the game. Oh, amazing DI from Pango right now. Oh, tries to cheese it with tries the game with the thunder. Tries to with something flashy just to finish it off. Tech? Oh, goes over the stage. I mean, the block instead. Here we go, another back is sending him out of here. My man is, my man really understands Steve to the point where he's breaking the blocks. Playing uh, annoying neutral, he he can't even cart consistently like that either. No, he, he can't not. even make that Forward towers. Will do it, and that is it. The six, six oh, oh. G Extreme right here, man. Your Arcadian champion, G Extreme.